Hello everyone. I am Mary Booth, the Chairman of CPRE Staffordshire, the Countryside Charity. We are working together for a beautiful and thriving countryside in Staffordshire that all of us can enjoy for generations to come. Next year, 2021, will be our 85th anniversary as a county organisation. Today is the start of our celebrations. I'm delighted to welcome our President Ian Dodson, Her Majesty's Lord Lieutenant of Staffordshire. Also, Susan Neil Boxley, our Office and Publicity Manager, who will tell you more in a second. We are live streaming for the first time. We are socially distanced and have just taken off our masks. Over to you, Sue. Thank you, Mary. Um, after much deliberation and following the success of our Around the County in 80 Landscapes photography competition, uh, which we held for our 80th anniversary, um, we decided to uh, run a Staffordshire country countryside on camera uh, photography competition to celebrate our 85th. Uh, we are very fortunate to receive 148 entries from over 50 photographers, um, ranging from the north of the county, Peak, Peak District area, uh, down uh, towards the south and over towards the Shropshire border, uh, with Canic Chase and Chase Water being hot favourites amongst the photographers. Um, it's been a little while since the closing date for the uh, competition and we've been uh, putting a commemorative calendar together. So I'm going to hand over to uh, our President Ian um, to uh, finally announce the competition winners. Thank you very much, Sue, and uh, thank you too to Mary for the introduction. Uh, can I just start by saying how um, delighted I am to join you today as your president? Um, clearly, we would all have preferred it if we'd been able to uh, keep to recent practice and have all met together for this announcement of the photographic winners. Um, but uh, as you'll appreciate, uh, the restrictions have prevented that. So um, before I announce the uh, winners, which I will do in reverse order, uh, I'd just like to say a very big thank you to all of the photographers who have participated this year, and also in particular to the judges, uh, judging uh, the winners out of those 140, 48 photographs was I'm sure no easy job. So, if we do, uh, if I can announce please first the third place winners, and there are two winners, two, two joint third places. The first <coughs> photograph is entitled Huntingdon Sunset, uh, photographed by Gary Austin. Uh, photographs close to the chase uh, near the former mining village of Huntingdon. And the other uh, joint third place winner is a photograph entitled Womere on Canic Chase. Uh, it's a beautiful winter scene and it's photographed by Derek Forster. In second place we also have uh, two joint second place photographs. The first one is entitled The Night Before, photographed by Adrian Clark, and it's a very evocative photograph that I'm sure you'll agree with me uh, it's obvious why uh, somebody's chosen to put it in for the December entry. And then, in keeping with the uh, wildlife theme for our joint uh, second places, is a photograph called Young Fallow Deer, again on Calic Chase, photographed by Carol Gillen. And uh, I'm sure you agree with me that the beautiful sunlight uh, highlighting the, uh, the title of this photograph in the, in the young deer. And so without further ado uh, I'm delighted to announce this year's winner and it's a photograph entitled Cormorant at Four Green Nature Reserve by Michael Irwin 
Ford Green, Green Nature Reserve in Stoke-on-Trent and um, a, a cormorant is uh, not a sight you see every day in, uh, in Stoke-on-Trent or indeed in Staffordshire uh, but this very handsome perfectly uh, captured specimen was clearly as interested in Michael as he was uh, in, uh, in the bird itself. So congratulations to Michael and indeed to all the winners, uh, all those five winners. They of course um, make up just five of the months in the calendar which I'm now delighted to officially launch. And I'll, I'll hold it up so you can see it and if I turn it around you'll see the winning photograph displayed for the month of March. It is a wonderful um, snapshot of our beautiful countryside and I would like to particularly thank the Stafford Calendar Company for printing it for us once again. As well as the uh, other seven monthly photographs that make up the full page calendar there are a further 14 photographs uh, out of those submitted that are dotted around the date pages and the net result is, I think, a wonderful reflection for those of us who know the countryside quite well in this county and hopefully for many of you who have spent more time this year out and about as a result of the restrictions, uh, it will be a happy reminder. Um, but also I hope it will be uh, an encouragement to many others in the coming year uh, to get to know the countryside in Staffordshire a bit better. So finally, my, my very um, warm congratulations, not just to the five winners, but to everybody who's had a photograph included in the calendar. And now I'm going to hand back to Sue. Thank you, Sue. Thank, thank you Ian. And uh, just to reiterate, many congratulations to the winners and, and everyone who took part and, and who has a, a photograph in the calendar. I'd also like to thank um, FMS Car and Truck in Stafford uh, for sponsoring the calendar, enabling us to have plenty of copies printed um, so that hopefully everyone who would like a copy will be able to get hold of one. Um, on that note, um, calendars can be ordered online if you uh, visit our website at C pre staffordshire.org.uk and just scroll down a little bit and, and click on the photograph of the calendar. Um, we also have a couple of uh, outlets uh, in and uh, near Stafford um, at uh, Spring Slade Lodge and Fallow Forest on Cannock Chase and also Roots Larder off the Newport Road in Stafford. Um, please contact us if you'd like to pick up a copy and uh, you're having trouble finding uh, where to get one. Um, and uh, I'd also like to thank uh, Stafford Space Station uh, for the use of these wonderful facilities. Um, and now I'll hand back to Mary. Thank you. Thank you, Sue. Well, now that the calendar is launched, please buy copies of these lovely pictures. The calendar will make an excellent Christmas present. Any funds raised through calendar sales will help our charity through these difficult times. My congratulations also to all the photography competition winners and thanks to everyone who took part today or helped us with this. We look forward to our 85th year in 2021. Why not join us at CPRE Staffordshire by becoming a member if you are not one yet? Anyway, well, goodbye then. So it's goodbye for now yep. from all of us. Yep. Goodbye. Bye. And we hope to see you soon. Yep. Thank you.